Thanks for watching. Casting over there. Slow draws honey hole. Whew. Ari forgot her paddle, so. No, you did. Yeah, it's my responsibility to remember your paddle, huh? Mm. So she's tied on with a rope. And I guess we're gonna throw some poles out in the water. Hey Owen, really you're pulling a little bit. You're in the trees over there. Okay, that's good right there, bud. Gotta be gentle with it, okay? You got your line isn't that strong. So if he starts swimming, I'm gonna have to let him go for a little bit. I wish I would have got that on video. Your pole was bent like all the way into the water. Let him play. We have to let him run with it for a little bit. Okay. I don't have a net. I wish I brought a net. Oh, let him pull it. Let him pull it. Okay, just let him get tired. I'm under us! I'm under us! I already got a monster blue cat. He's just pulling that bob under like it's nothing. I open it. Yeah. I roll it in, roll it in. No, don't reel it in. I'm holding it. Oh, oh. I thought it snapped your line at first. Yeah. Not yet. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can get him up out of the water now.
Ah, get down! Yeah, hurry, put it in there! Where do you put it? Do you put it? So, that's why this gripper is nice, because I can just hold on to him, get this hook out. Okay, pick your bobber up. And put your pole in your holder. Drop it in the water. We're keeping this bad boy. Huh? Uh, your hook's caught in your caught in your basket on the other side. Look on the other side. Hang on. Okay. Let me help you. Okay. Basket. <laughs> All right, leave your pole like that. Miss your pole. Let's set your pole right here for now. And the stringer's in front of Owen. Owen, can you get the stringer? Hang on, I'll get it. I'll get it. It's in the. Stay right there, buddy. Huh? I got a hold of it with the gripper thing. Okay. Where are you gonna put him? I'm just gonna tie him onto the side. Hey, Owen. No, he'll pull you around. He yeah. <laughs> Your kayak's too small. He's gonna swim away with that rope. Nope. What if I tie it on here? Did you do that with your other one? Yep. <laughs> we'll get him untangled. Just calm down. <laughs> Quit reeling. Quit reeling. Okay, press your button. Hang on, wait till he stops pulling and then press it. You need to let some line out. You've got too much. Hang on, hang on, hang on, just relax. You got it. No, mommy, don't, don't reel. You got a big tangled up mess on there. And you got a big fish on there. Okay? So, just don't reel anymore. <laughs> just keep them up there. If you can. There we go. Okay. Now, reel just a little bit. Okay, don't reel them up. There you go. Just let them take it. Let them get tired. Remember, don't reel them. Okay? Let them get tired. And then try to bring them over here to me. Don't reel it anymore, okay? Let me see if I can get Owen's line untangled. Okay. We'll get our lines untangled in just a second. Oh my gosh, I am the fisher master. <laughs> oh jeez. He looked guy. bigger than I thought he, he... Yep, I am the fisher master. Ari is the fisher master today. We got a mess we gotta untangle though. Just don't, don't wiggle it. It's not that bad you right now, okay? I'll get it as soon as I get this fish on the stringer. All right, got another big one. <laughs> my other, oh, one more, and then I get my own snappers. Yep, but you have to be able to use them and not be scared of the fish. Okay, I won't be scared of the fishes any, any more, I promise. 
Hang on, bud. We got a big mess we gotta clean up for a minute. Dad, you have a fish. You have a fish. Oh, yeah, I do, huh? Had one. You have it. Ah, It's a little baby one. No. Ari caught a bigger one than me. Hopefully I don't catch that one. You wanna say hi? No, no, no. No, 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 no. Ow! What, did he bite you? He thinned me. I should have known better than to put my hand there. Good. Did you know I was thirsty? Dad. What's up? They're coming up. They're coming up here? Huh? We'll see. Man. It stings. Sorry. Okay. We're gonna go. Okay, we'll go up to this other group of trees right up here. And we'll tie on up there. Yep, that's not very far, is it? Or do you want to go up here in in the middle of all these big trees? We're not going home, buddy. Not yet. Sister's killing him. Oh, I keep hitting him with the paddle. I need time somewhere else, I guess. We're not going home yet. Stop. Alright, well the wind picked up so I decided I was gonna paddle back across. I'm being as I'm dragging on back there. In a fishing pole. Because she forgot her paddle. Awesome I'm driving these fish, I ain't going against the wind, and it's getting kind of choppy. This is quite the workout. All right, sit back. I'm gonna drag you up out of the water first, okay? Okay, now you can get up. <sighs> Stay right there. I don't know if there's any stickers anywhere, okay? Yep. What are we doing here? Uh, getting me. Fishies. Fish grippers? Uh-huh. And no one gets a cookie. You want a cookie, bub? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go get you a cookie. Good, how are you? Good. 
I can tell right now that that, that, that girl and that boy both need new fishing poles. They're a kayak. You need to do with them, Chet. They're a kayak. Yeah. Did he catch three? He needs new fishing poles. He caught three and he so didn't catch the fish. I got yeah. two, but it got really She windy. caught two, but I counted the one as two. Yeah, or she caught, I counted one as two because it was pretty good. Oh, really? Good. Yeah. Okay. Oh, on the cooler. Hey, we're going to go pay for it. Thank you. You want to fish with your dad? Yeah. How cool is that? Is your dad pretty good fisherman? Yeah. Yeah? I don't know. I just got out fished by Ori. Oh, are you Ari? Did you catch a big fish? All right, sister. I caught two. Then I caught one. Did I caught one? Baby. Yeah, I caught a little baby one. She caught both those off her kayak. Man, that's cool, sister. A big that is one. a small kayak. Did you have fun? That's what matters, ain't it? Rubbing your belly for your cookie. trying to get water through their gills. That's how they pump water through their gills. So they breathe water. Their gills pull the oxygen out of the water. And that's how they breathe. How did they get this in an actual knot? No, they didn't. I just wasn't paying attention. Okay, so we got the better microphone going because it's quite windy. And whenever you're working with a tripod, it's a whole lot easier to get the good microphone fired up. Look at my chomp where it's easy. Where the fish is. Okay, grab this one's jaw. <laughs> grab him right here. Big funny. Yeah, grab him. So this? Yep. Put that in his mouth. Put it in his mouth. Grab him. Clamp it. There you go. I don't want now hold that. Hold that. Okay. You need to get one of them stinky pants. Stringers. Okay. Now well, you can let go. And we'll come over here and do this next one. And I gotta get out of the Why string. Why do they have so much teeth? That's how they grab their food. They use those teeth and they grab onto other fish. That's a bunch of teeth. Yeah. So they grip. See how it's grabbing the stringer? Okay. Grab his bottom jaw. Bottom? Mine. Yeah. Stick it. Stick it right there. It feels weird. Yeah. You got it? Stick it in there. Yeah. Grab it. Okay. I'm going to pull it. Bring it over here. Yeah, and it's not on yet. Yeah. Okay. That's cool how these work okay this well one, it's stuck on its teeth push it in a little bit push it in his mouth a little bit farther and then turn it there you go all right here's ari's get over here you caught both these these are ari's two fish and she wanted to make a catch clean cook video they're all dry and slimy she want to make a catch clean cook video, so we're gonna clean them. When I say we, I mean we. Okay, so we'll, we'll cook. We'll do the big one first. Which one's the bigger, big? the bigger they are, the easier they are to clean. That's the biggie. Yep. Okay. So. Uh, I'm not doing the cutting. Part. Okay. Well, come over here. I'm not lucky. You're not looking? I thought you were... This was your idea. You don't like watching me cut them? No, nope, you gotta do this part. You caught them, you gotta help clean them. It's okay. You don't have to use the knife, you just have to come watch. I'll show you how to do it. Come on. It's not scary. I like I think you got do you think do you think they feel bad whenever they eat other fish? You think they feel bad whenever they eat other fish? Wait, 
We eat fish. Huh? We do eat fish. I know. Catfish eat fish too. Catfish will actually eat other catfish. Did you know that? What? That's yeah. being mean. Yeah. It's being super mean. Super duper. So what do you think's meaner? Eating a... That'd be like a human eating another human. Isn't that gross? Yeah. All right, so come over here. This ain't so bad then, is it? Look, there's not even that much blood on this one. And then we come down, we follow the ribs. Camera can't see this. Let me turn this around. Come, on, come over here. Okay, so we split them down the back. Follow the spine. You don't have to touch it. You just come over here and watch. I am watching. Okay, get closer. Okay, so you follow the spine down. <laughs> and you cut around the rib cage. Right here. Right? Keep coming. I, you know, I see blood dripping down. That's okay. So, take it and follow the spine all the way down. Keep cutting the meat off the ribs. I would not want to be a fish because, you know, people wanting to catch me and eat me. Oh, yeah. So Ari, while we're doing this, are you gonna shoot a deer this year? Mm -hmm. You're gonna try to? Or are you gonna? I'm going to. I'm Look at the size of that fillet. You're gonna eat it anyways. What's the difference between you eating it and seeing it? Huh? Yeah. Ew, blood. Deer. Yeah, there's a lot of blood there. Okay, so come over here. I don't want to look at the blood. We're gonna do the same thing over here. Like, I don't want to look at the real blood this Like that? Is that no. better? No. The stuff that's inside. Oh, okay. Why do you okay. Tell, why did you used to tell me not to look at you clean the fish? I always I thought you would be scared of it. Which I think I made you more scared by telling you not to watch. It's not that bad, is it? It's all going in your belly anyways. Alright, now we got the belly meat off. Okay, so now we gotta get this... Now we gotta clean the skin off. So, I watched a video from a guy, I believe his name was Jason, showed, showed a video on how to clean fish and I actually learned something new last week. This is a whole lot faster way of cleaning fish than the way I always used to do it. You just take the knife and follow it down and that gets all the skin off. Done. Uh, We're back. Bow -bow. Sorry, my son came over and started messing with the tripod. Tried flipping the camera off the tripod. And that way you don't have to clean any silver skin off. Both sides, nice and clean, ready to get sliced up. You end up with two pieces per uh, fillet, but... wash the blood off first. Yeah, well, I didn't bring the garden hose over here, so... Uh, so we'll have to do it in the sink. Okay, and then you do the same on this side. You take the knife and you split down to the skin. Don't cut the skin. You just get the... Oh, over here so on the you edge. don't get any super stuff in your mouth whenever you're Yeah. And then you just run the knife flat along the cutting board. Oh, messed the end of that up. 
It's all right. So we're gonna take all these nuggets and bread them up. Anyway, so. I want fish nuggets. You want fish nuggets? Yeah. Okay. I think you like just make the fish into little circles and then put them. Okay, and then on the belly meat, the same like the principle. You don't like the sound of belly meat? Except this ends up, I think, in like four pieces because you split it once, come this way. And then go this way. Did you also show how to get the belly meat? Yeah, that's what we're showing right now. How to get the belly meat. Well, Okay, so you still have the skin on the other side of the belly meat. Do the same thing. So you do the same thing. So that's why you end up with four pieces instead of two pieces. So you flip this over. You go like this. And I caught both of those fish by She myself. did. She caught a whole mess of fish. I was like, really good. You think it's even And then it went all crazy. You do the same on this side. Right, Dad, Dad? Yeah. <laughs> like, I cannot look up at this stuff on the inside. Oh, yeah. It just it makes your stomach hurt. Okay, you're doing the next fish. Time's up. By myself? Yeah. Real? No, uh, I'm just kidding. It was all just cutting. And I can't cut. Why? I've seen you cut a, an apple. That's a big knife. Oh, it's a big knife? Okay, so we're just going to do the same thing. Okay. I never ever want to touch their teeth because I don't want them to bite me. No bully. Kitchen before you cut him up more. Yep. He's a little sticky though. His <laughs> skin's dry from <laughs> being out of the water for so long. So whenever you get to the belly part, it, you see the stuff that's inside of it. Dad? Yep. Mm, that's a real bloody fish. Yep. There he is, huh? That's a slidey fish, too. He's sliding all over the place. He is. So, Ari. What? Where do you want this video to go? Mine. Do you want to be a Gigantum Outdoors member? Junior member? Yeah. You want to go on the Gigantum Outdoors page or Ari's page? We can do both. You want to put on both? Oh, yeah. It's both mine and your video. Yeah, we'll just put on both. How about that? So for anybody watching on Gigantum Outdoors, I'll link Ari's channel in the description below.
And then I'll link Daddy's <laughs> channel down below. She'll link Geek and Outdoors page in the channel. The flies are eating it. We're supposed to eat it. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to hurry up. Bad flies. Man, this ain't working. I'm doing everything backwards and <laughs> it's not working very good, okay. I'm not watching the belly button. Okay, I got both fillets off. Well I can watch the belly part, but I cannot really look at this stuff. So I like look at it for a second and then not look at it. How's it still trying to breathe in here? Uh, their body just does that all the time, no matter what. Kind of like your body always makes your heart beat, even though you don't think about it. You think about making your heart beat, or does it just beat by itself? That's why they're. Do you think about breathing? Neither do they. Their body just does it. I just kind of think about breathing, but not as much. The fishies have brains. Yep. That's how they're kind of smart. But they're not really smart because they eat worms that are on boats. <laughs> That is true. They get caught by little eight-year-old girls. I'm seven. Seven-year-old girls. Seven-day-old girls. Stop the flyzy. Don't get any more of your poop on this. Mm. I don't know if the skin's just tough. Let me try the other side. Oh, okay, that side of skin was just tough. Being weird. Okay. Let's do the same thing we did before. Are you Let's cutting hold this your side skin and off this time? Cut the skin off. a lot faster on the second fish. The first one I was being too deliberate, I guess. Trying too hard. I got a lot of belly meat. Mm. I never used to take the belly meat off until I watched that video the other day. I didn't realize how much meat was there. You didn't know you eat the belly meat? I knew you could. I just never did. I didn't realize how much meat there really was there. So now we get Is that right there. That's eat. one piece. Yeah, no. I'm going swimming today too. Oh yeah. Forgot about that. <laughs> swimming like fishies. <laughs> but you're not gonna get caught, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I said flies, no flies. Eat. They don't eat much. We're gonna go clean it anyways and soak it in salt water. There's one on my nose. Trying to get my nose. Are you there? Flies are well, gonna eat your hands. We still got. I still gotta do these, huh? Ugh. <laughs> forgot about it. Silly daddy. I forgot about it too. Silly me. And you? Oh, cut through the skin. Dang it. At least you can still do it over again. Yeah, just doing this. It looks like the silver skin is like weird. 
Silver? Yeah. Is this... Like a twilight are vampire? Are these blue? Huh? Are these blue cats or just big cats? We're back! We're back. Cookies. <laughs> yeah, she's eating a cookie. Miss, my stomach hurts from watching you clean fish and I eat a cookie. <laughs> Does that make sense, Ari? No. Okay. So, we got all our fish here. It's approximately 2,000 milliliters of fish. Or seven cups. Which is, I don't know. Um, probably a couple pounds. For me. So, what are we going to do next with it, Ari? What are we do next? Clean it and then put it in soft salt water. Yep, we're going to clean it, soak it in some salt water, and then um, we'll catch up with you guys whenever it's time to eat or cook it. Cook it and eat it. Mm -hmm. Catch, clean, cook. Eat. Eat. <laughs> We're back. Hi. Hey, everybody. Uh -huh. oh. What? Huh? We're back. Hey, everybody. We're back. Um, it is now time to cook the catfish. Yeah. And, um,. Tried something a little different. Usually we soak it in a brine, just salt and water, like this. Soak it overnight, or for a few hours or whatever. And so I got to thinking, I like sushi, I like Asian food. So I, I wondered what it would be like to soak. In soy sauce. Soak it in I soy love sauce. Sushi. The salty. And she loves sushi. And what's it smell like, Ari? Sushi. It smells just like sushi. So we're gonna bread that and try to fry it as well. Oh, let's get to it. <laughs> okay. Oh, you wanna do that one first? Uh -huh. Okay. Big one. So you lay that down. I'll show you how to use the knife. Put the tip down on the board, hold the meat, and pull the blade across the meat while you're pushing down hard. Yeah. Let me help you. Let me help you. Okay, you ready? Down like this. Boom. 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 You gotta hold it. You gotta hold the meat. This thing heats the stove up. It heats that oil up fast. Dad, there's like something. Huh? Okay, so we're going to take one piece and put it in the in the oil as it's warming up. Once it starts bubbling right, we'll know that the oil is ready. Oh. While you're cutting that up, you can cut this in a smaller piece like that. That's fine. You're doing okay, good. You want me to put it in? Yep. And then you just drop it in there and, and toss it on cover either it. side. Cover it up. You can cover it up or you can just flip it over. Hey, you're, you're blocking the camera, Goob. Mm. There you go. All right. I'm going to put some on top of it. Just to make sure. Now put it in. Nope, nope, don't put any in yet. Why? I'm just letting it preheat. Okay. You gotta get the oil hot first. And so just keep yep. it in? Just start cutting it up and mixing it up and you can leave it in here just fine. See, this one's not bubbling yet. Once that one starts bubbling, then we can put more fish in there. I'm gonna go get a plate to put that stuff on whenever it's done. Okay. Just 
put it in there, fire it up, flip it, fire it up, and shake it off, and then put it right there, and then you're going to get another piece, and I keep doing it over and over again. Our oil's finally getting up to temperature. Yep, yeah. I'll tell them what to do. Yay, yay. Bubbling. Are these good ducks? Yep. You can actually just, this right here is like a good, you just cut this in half. That. That's a good size nugget right there. Okay. You're making them. You're making them really small. They're gonna. I think the meat's gonna cook before the the batter is ready. Yeah. You want to cook them, cut them big like that. Good. Big brown one. How do you like it, Bubba? Good. Good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Casting over there. Slow draws honey hole. Whew.